Hello and welcome back to our online conference. Um, it's now time to start the presentations from our experts and we kick off with Anka Roma uh, with her presentation about lifetime daily yield. Now remember you can ask questions that we can put to Anka after her presentation so please keep them coming in. Um, over to you Anka. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Julia. It's great to be a part of this webinar. So uh, the topic of my presentation is what is lifetime daily yield and how can it be influenced? Mm. At first, I will give you a short introduction and then what is lifetime daily yield? How can it be influenced? And at the end, I uh, will give you favorite three recommendations. Um, short introduction, lifetime performance increased every year in Germany and I believe in your farm too, but how important is it? So I will give you an example of two cows with high lifetime production both. Cow one, I called Emma, gave 94,000 kilograms of milk within eight lactations. That are 11,700 uh, kilograms per lactation. And cow two, Beta, reached nearly 94,000 kilograms of milk too, but she did 14 lactations, 14 calves. That are 6,700 kilograms per lactation. And our economist analyzed profit of both cows. Emma, with eight calves has a profit of 7,500 euros. And what do you mean? What is the profit of beta? Se um, 14 lactations and the profit is nothing. With only 6,700 kilograms milk per lactation, there's no profit possible by the actual cost of milk production and the actual milk price in Germany. So another parameter is necessary. Lifetime performance, uh, lifetime longevity um, are both not uh, perfect parameters of efficiency of milk yield because a cow can live for a long time, but uh, if she has low milk, that is not efficiency. Milk yield per amount of time is essential. Uh, milk yield per amount. Um, so here, milk yield per lifetime or lifetime daily yield. It is the total milk yield per all days of living. And with this parameter, you include the cost of rearing calves and heifers. If we divide lifetime performance by lifetime days, Emma gave 22 kilograms of milk per living day and Beta 12 kilograms. 12 kilograms are not enough. How can lifetime daily yield be influenced, increased? The first question should be, what are influencing factors? And therefore, we made investigations on reasons of culling, milk yield, and health of cows. We had all veterinary treatments of these cows in 30 farms in Mecklenburg-Vorpommern. That sounds not much, but these 30 farms describe 20% of all cows in Mecklenburg-Vorpommern. This is the region of Mecklenburg-Vorpommern and um, on the left-hand side, you can see Hamburg. We made strict controls of exact data documentation on every farm right from the beginning of the project in 2005. The average herd size is more than 1,000 cows with a milk yield of approximately 10,500 kilograms per cow. Here uh, are some pictures of farms and barns. Barns are open free stall barns and all analyzed cows are German Holstein cows. 
So how much milk per lifetime should a cow produce for a profitable income? Definitely more than 12 kilograms. We classified all 43,000 cows into classes of lifetime daily yield and estimated cost and income. Break-even point was at 14 kilograms per day of lifetime. Farms in Germany currently are at 14 kilograms on average. If they would be, uh, if they would like to be efficient in future, they should uh, reach 15 or better 20 kilograms per daily lifetime. What is lifetime production of cows with more than 20 kilograms milk per lifetime day? And what is their longevity? We classified cows by lifetime daily yield again and analyzed lifetime milk production. Cows with 20 kilograms lifetime daily yield achieved 50,000 kilogram lifetime production within at least five lactations. Currently, longevity of German dairy cows is only three years or 2.7 lactations. So the age of dairy cows is for 5.4 years at culling. But how long could a cow live? <laughs> I believe you know it. Biological age is 20 to 25 years. Do you have such old cows? <laughs> there are some cows, for example, one of the oldest German Holstein cow you can see here. Um, by the way, her name is Nonsens in German, Unsinn. <laughs> Locke, the cow on the right-hand side became even 32 year old, years old. <laughs> yes, increase of lifetime daily yield is possible by increase of milk yield per cow and year and decrease of age at first calving. And cows have to live longer. But why is longevity that short. We calculated percentages of culled cows per lactation without sales. And surprisingly, most culled cows were first lactating cows. Within lactation, uh, when were the most young cows be culled within lactation? And uh, nearly 25% of Carlings were fresh cows. The last thing you want to lose is a fresh cow in first lactation. She is your most expensive cult cows. Furthermore, we analyze differences between efficient farms and all others. What makes them better? There was only one big difference. Efficient farms had less cullings in first lactation. Here you can see the green bars, they describe all farms, and the yellow ones, the 20% best of them. They had less cullings in first lactation, but more in fourth and following lactations. The goals for future um, is uh, do not cull more than 6% of cows within first 60 days of milk. Cullings because of diseases should be less than 25%. Then you can realize a higher selection on milk yield and uh, uh, can have a longer longevity. Then uh, less cullings in first lactation than in following lactations and culling reason others, we told about it, less than 5%. To achieve that aims, I have three favorite recommendations to you. At first, 
a healthy transition period, um, a high hygiene level in calving area, keep an excellent health management, feeding control and enough, enough water intake in your fresh cows. And my second recommendation, a longer voluntary waiting periods. Here you can see two modeled uh, lactation curves. The red one symbolized former herd levels when a calving interval of 400 days was determined. And this blue one should symbolize your cows today. Most of us never adapted calving interval to increase milk yield. So we have to dry off cows, sometimes with more than 30 kilograms of milk per day. What would happen if we extend the lactation period by a longer voluntary waiting period? Cows will have less calvings per life. That means less diseases per postpartum, reduced culling risk and less labor efforts in transition period. Here you can see a model calculation based on real data of our test herds. We divided cows into long and short calving intervals and compared extreme classes. Within five years, we compared cows with five calves and three calves respectively. Cow three has two calves less. And her milk yield per day of lactation is a little bit lower, one kilogram. But she has nearly 100 less unproductive days within five years. What we analyzed furthermore is that cows were treated 5.36 times within first 30 days in milk. These are the results of our database that includes, meanwhile, more than 2 million veterinary treatments. So cow 3 would have nearly 11 veterinary treatments less within five years compared to cow 5. And lower culling risk. Because of more days in milk, cow, cow 3 has a higher amount of milk of 1,500 kilograms within five years and a one kilogram higher daily lifetime yield. My third recommendation is enjoy your work and motivate others. Be proud and happy also in this times. Um, be proud on your cows. <laughs> Learn more, use webinars like this educational films, meetings, lectures. Love your cows and create a lovely working atmosphere. Have some fun. And if you are happy with your work, you will be able to achieve all aims. So I cannot give you a take home message because I believe you are at home, aren't you? My be home messages to you are focus on a lifetime daily yield of 20 kilograms. Give your young cows the chance to become old and profitable. Think about longer voluntary waiting periods and be proud on your success and your cows and enjoy your work. What we need in future is a high yielding and old cow to have profit. And I believe you will manage that. And thank you for your attention. And thank you, Anka. What a great presentation and I, I love the ending. Um, we've been getting a whole stream of questions in for you. Um, and you were talking about, I'm sorry, I'm gonna to have to flick through the questions on my iPad. You were just saying that you recommended a daily yield of 20 kilograms. Um, we have a question from Jennifer Brandle who asks, what should the yield per day be if full grazing is practiced in the summer, approximately five months, with much lower feed costs? Hmm. 
I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that because our cows, uh, the most of our cows, um, without grazing, um, only housing, and um, yeah, I believe it has to be much lower, a little bit lower. Okay. Thank you. Um, another question. In your experience, at what lifetime daily yield will a farmer start making money? Hmm. That's an interesting question um, and not so easy to answer because um, the break-even point depends on milk yield, on age at first calving, on uh, cost and income of every farm. But our um, in our experiences, I would say um, at least 15 uh, kilograms per day, but better 20. Super, thank you. I know Jacques has a lot of questions for you. Well, a lot, uh, maybe not, but um, uh, you, you told us that your work is uh, all based on uh, German Holsteins. Um, do you believe that uh, um, the figures that you find uh, are, are very different from what you would find, uh, for example, uh, if you had a herd of um, uh, jerseys, where the, mm -hmm. the, the, the value if you slaughter an animal is, uh, for example, different, or the value of a male calf is different, or the other extreme, flag fee, where the value of a calf uh, for, for meat production would be uh, a little bit bigger. W mm. Would it work out roughly the same, or could we expect completely different... Uh, Figures. Yes, of course, uh, it would be different because um, the breeds have different milk yields, jersey or flag fee, and um, they have other um, another income in calves, for example, and other um, ages at first calving. But uh, investigations on flag fee in the southern in southern Germany showed a similar break-even point, um, like in my presentation. And so I believe um, that high-yielding um, flag fee cows uh, can reach can achieve a similar uh, lifetime daily yield like Holstein cows. Okay, um, and then. In your work, did you uh, did you look at at what age the milk production starts going down? Uh, Albert de Vries, for example, said usually around the fifth lactation. Mm -hmm. what, what did you see in your work? <laughs> in my work, we analyzed, uh, for example, cows with more than one hundred thousand kilograms of milk per lifetime, and they, but uh, um, this cows increase their milk yield up to the ninth lactation and then the, the, the curve of this uh, lactations um, begins to decrease and they gave in the 12th lactation even more milk than uh, young cows in first lactation. So it is always a question of um, which, which pool of data you analyze. If the pool is a young pool, the um, peak of lactation number comes to the beginning. And if it, the pool is an older one, um, only 100,000 liter cows, then the peak will um, go to the older, like, older cows. Mm, yeah. Okay, thanks. Um, still loads of questions coming in for you, Anka. Um, we've got one here from uh, Jonna, who asks, how do you suggest to determine ideal voluntary waiting period? Uh, the voluntary waiting period is a, is a real project of our institute. And um, we would say that, um, especially for young cows, they could have a voluntary waiting period of 200 days because their uh, persistency of lactation curve is so high that they reach a, whole, um, um, a lot of milk per day of lactation. And if we give them 
a longer voluntary waiting period, you can... Feiten wat we rising... laten zien, hè? Dus dat is een beetje ah. vragen aan de... Rising up the lactation curve. And reach more uh, milk in within 305 days. And even more milk in lactation and even more milk in, in the whole life. Thank you very much. Um, I think by the amount of questions coming in, I think you've captured uh, a, a, a really interesting point for people watching today.